みなさんナマステ日本語の UGC の EPG のパーティシャラへようこそ私はカナーネタです今日勉強するペーパーの題は日本文学の紹介近代以前の日本文学の紹介ですそしてこれを英語で紹介しますから英語で話します。今日勉強するモジュールは「鎌倉幕府と随筆」「The 鎌倉書グネット」and「The Miscellaneous Essays」。What is the objective of this module?Through this we will understand the transition from the Heian period on to the Kamakura from the patrons of literature as aristocracy on to the patrons of the literature are now warriors, wars and the victory and defeat in the wars. Second objective is to show to the readers or to our students that how this Japanese literature, the trends move on almost in a linear manner in the sense that in Monogatari we have itself a wide range like as we studied Tsukuri Monogatari the fictional tales, Uta Monogatari, the poetry tales, Rikishi Monogatari, the war narratives. And now in this age of warfare and chaos, on one hand the literature sings the impermanence of life, of everything. And on the other hand, the literature speak about the bravery, fights, success and failure. And through the two main clans, Taira and Minamoto, we can see the play of the nature, how Taira was reduced to nothing and Minamoto no Yoritomo the shogun could succeed and replace him at the top. This concept of Mujokan is very closely related to Buddhism and this becomes the key word or the main emotion in the age of chaos and warfare. So this is the literature of Mujokan which reaches its peak in the medieval age. Today we will study about the two Zuihitsu works. Like we have seen in the age of Heian period, the people who could not succeed would become or try to take refuge in Buddhism. And in this age, Buddhist was definitely what could appease them. But on the other hand, those who could not accept these also become recluse. That is the Inja, in Japanese we call it. They may not become Buddhist, they may not, but they remove themselves away from the society. Although they do visit the power center and the, uh, the court periodically. Having taught you this background of this age of transition from Heian to Kamakura, it is called the Kamakura Shogunate. Why Heian? Because that was the period of long period of peace. So it was named Heian and now from Kyoto the capital is shifted to the city of Kamakura. So, 
named after that it is called the Kamakura Jidai. So, in 1192 it was the shoguns who established their shogunate and since the military generals had seized power, emperor continued to be in Kyoto, the capital. Although the name of this period is called Kamakura, named after the power center which was in Kamakura. Needless to say, emperor was more of a titular head and his powers became less and less in the years to come. Now, how did a period of peace and prosperity and the doom to such chaos? The reason lied into the aristocrats who owned the land holdings in the name of Shoen and the Muslimmen who looked after the Shoen which was in the remote areas became strong and powerful and there were few prominent clans which tried to look for the, who tried to seize the power, the ultimate political power and they were the Taira family, Minamoto clan and Hojo. So, there are many conflicts and we know them as Hojo, Noran and Hogen Noran and like that. Let me look at the mindset of the those who were in the power circle or who were prominent in the court and how they dealt with this chaotic situation. The extension of Monogatari, Gunki Monogatari, the war tales of Kamakura period. As we in the ongoing warfare, people were the sufferers like always and people did not know whom to look up to in that period of chaos. To them it seemed as if the prophecies of Buddha that after a certain time of his death, the Buddhist law will cease to exist and it seems the period Kamakura coincided with that prophecy of Buddha and people were doomed that in this age of Mappo, the end of law, law means Buddhist law, whom should they look up for solace or for hope and there comes in the presence of Buddhism. Buddhism people looked up to it as their savior and so the popularity of Buddhism was on and well, though it was not the Buddhism of Heian period full of rituals and lavish display, but it was the Buddhism which gave hope to people by just chanting the name of Buddha in the form of Namo Myoho Renge Kyo. Like any literature that is influenced by the social trends, the existing warfare, the battles also resulted in the new trend of fiction based on warfare called Gunki Monogatari. Gunki means military and Monogatari is the fiction or tale and I as I mentioned it is as an extension of the Rekishi Monogatari, the historical narratives. So, one can imagine that unlike the earlier works of Heian period that describe the beautiful aspects of life full of aristocratic magnificence affairs between men and women. The fiction of Kamakura has a realistic and philosophical undertone. The Gunki Monogatari works describe the serious warfare and eulogize the bravery of the samurai, the warriors and their generals who fought and their heroic deeds. And 
the undercurrent was of course the doom of law the end of law mappo and also tragedy emphasizing the transient nature of everything some of the common features of these works if we study we will have a better knowledge about the gunki monogatari as the name suggests these are works of fiction and historical reality and it depicts the battles that took place in that period and also some of these works are named after them like the heji no ran and hogen no ran likewise the three main works of tai he ki he ke monogatari and gempe seisui ki describe the same historical battles and are named after that based on the two sides which fought taira and minamoto so the literary qualities of these works depended on an exhibited literary acumen of the writer because the same material was described and written from different perspectives for example the heike monogatari is presented against the back drop of buddhist philosophy whereas the tai he and it he ke monogatari the theme is the rise and fall of taira clan similarly the tai he ki relates the events and blend it with the chinese legends and how ultimately the balance of power or the peace could be maintained the third feature is unlike the earlier monogatari's the typical fiction works of tsukuri monogatari like taketori monogatari genji monogatari which was enjoyed by the aristocrats as their pastime the works of gunki were popular for being narrated and recited along with the musical accompaniment of musical instrument called biwa the wandering monks and professional reciters of the medieval age called biwa hoshi sang these tales of heroic tales of the heroes of the war from taira side as well as minamoto side these themes were also adapted in the performing arts of later medieval period called muromachi period and were sung even during the edo period especially in the performing arts of no and kabuki that constitute the core of japanese drama also the puppet plays of jorori are known how are these plots structured the structure is epic like whereby the side plot of stories and legends irrelevant to the main plot are woven together in gunki monogatari the contrasting elements of tragedy and comedy victory and defeat are assimilated and presented together due to the very nature of this subject the fifth point is there are strong shades of buddhist philosophy like the karmic rewards and evanescence of things in the backdrop and it explains the reason for the tragic events by referring to the buddhist prophecies about the mappo which i explained just before as i said mappo means the period of the end of law when there is no dharma in that age of mappo the masses looked at the religion as i mentioned for the moral and psychological support and yearn to be reborn in the land of buddha which is called jodo in japanese the pure land or the paradise and this day per and this the monks preach that could be attained by just reciting the name of buddha amida but namo 
by just reciting the name of Amida or the Amita Buddha and one could attain paradise if one does with full concentration and, and single minded devotion. Number six, the obvious form, the nature of Monogatari as we can see from the themes represent the samurai or the warriors as the hero, unlike the aristocracy of the earlier period of Heian. In Kamakura period with the shift of power to the local groups of warriors in provinces and improvements in the economic conditions of the provinces, the situation changed to some extent and in due course of time it diffused further to include the other classes of people as well as the common people and it recognized the existing of warrior common people which was marginalized in the Heian period and all these participated in the literary tradition as players or the audience also in the years to come. The main tales were written in a hybrid Chinese Japanese style or hentai kanbun or also kana majiri in which the Chinese terms were combined with kana hiragana in order to express the basic structure in Japanese in a more lucid and interesting manner. Look at the main works of Gunki Monogatari. The first one is Hogen Monogatari. It was written in the year 1220 and Hogen Monogatari centers around the development in Hogen Noran, the civil war of 1156. The political developments behind the war was the attempt of retired Emperor Toba to persuade his son Sutoku to abdicate in favor of his younger brother Kono and then go Shirakawa. After the death of Toba in 1156, Sutoku clashed with his younger brother Yorinaga who wished to become the head of Fujiwara clan by replacing his elder brother Fujiwara no Tadamichi. The two parties in conflict were aided by one of the two major warrior families of Taira and Minamoto. There were tragic clashes between the near and dear ones of the Taira no Kiyomori, Emperor Go Shirakawa Tadamichi on one side and the retired Emperor Sutoko Yorinaga with Minamoto no Tameyoshi on the other side. So the main leaders were Taira no Kiyomori and the Minamoto no Tameyoshi. The son of warrior of Minamoto was Yoshitomo who sided with Taira initially. These constitute the central character of this work. In the resultant war, Tameyoshi was defeated and executed. Fujiwara no Yorinaga was killed and retired. Emperor Sutoku was exiled in Sanuki where he died. The work is arranged in three volumes and has 37 chapters. Like this work, Heiji Monogatari also has the same connotations as Hogen Monogatari in portraying the historical Heiji Noran of 1159 that was three years later. It was the Minamoto no Yoshitomo who had actively sided with Taira and was dissatisfied with the treatment meted out to him afterwards after the victory of Taira. So with the support of Emperor Go Shirakawa and Fujiwara no Nobuyori on his side, he raised army against Taira. Ultimately, Taira came out victorious. As a result of this, 
Taira no Shigemori captured and beheaded Nobuyori and the defeated Minamoto no Yoshitomo fled to place Owari where he was killed. His infant son Minamoto no Yoritomo who was spared and exiled to Izu. Ultimately, it was the Minamoto no Yoritomo, that infant son of Minamoto no Yoshitomo, who grew up and raised and gathered support from all army leaders and caused the downfall of Taira about two decades later. This work is divided in three parts and the first scroll explains the background of the conflict. The second one accounts the battle that took place and the third, the concluding scroll recounts the developments thereafter setting the stage for the subsequent wars and war narratives. The authorship of these Gunkimonogatari is doubtful, is not clear, but this work is attributed to a person named Hamuro Toki Naga. So, as we can see, the main conflict was between the emperor in power and emperor of the cloistered government, who were joined by the opposing factions of the Fujiwara in conflict. 